Hey everybody, Jeep here. Uh, happy 4th of July. Uh, bearded rat um, behind the camera. Um, we're actually out at a state park here and 4th uh, of July weekend. It's a Friday evening. Been out here all day, but I haven't uh, set up the sleeping arrangements yet. So, the sleeping arrangements this uh, go round is actually going to be the Northwest Nature Calls, uh, Bruce. Uh, custom belt a hammock for me with mosquito netting. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen the whole construction with the whoopee slings, uh, the strapping. Oh, I think I left one of the straps over there. Um, and all that, that it's actually uh, the REI um, webbing for the tree savers that are, uh, they're actually hollow inside it. Of course, you, you know, sealed them, but it's the actual, uh, the rat got it for me. Um, the ones that uh, the climbers use from REI, so um, I'm not real good on the names of a lot of the, the knots and things like that. I just know how to do them. Um, but so the first thing that is uh, going to start is we're just have an overhand knot, created a little loop on the thing, and we're just going to start here with the all around the tree, and we'll pull the whole strap all the way through and actually cinch down on the tree and then I'm going to use uh, like I said I can't remember the name but it uses a toggle and I'll actually make those here in a minute and it's essentially um, you create a loop underneath put it back up on top and you put the toggle in there and the whoopee things will sit on top of the knot I'll show you how they're done I got a Broken off tree strap right here. I uh, mashed, mashed all this down and uh, got it prepared a little bit earlier just by simply walking around. Same thing on this side. Gonna go up, go around the tree, pull the strap all the way through, and just cinch it down. And um, today I am using the Condor bush lower. And so I'm going to make a couple uh, quick toggles here. And uh, real simple, just cut, cut a couple green branch here that I snapped off. And I'm actually going to create two of them. But uh, Tell you what, that is one sharp knife. Never had any issue with it at all so far. Um, Budget-wise, you're not going to hear any complaints. The sheath alone is worth the value and the um, good leather work for Condor. Um, I've been using it in the bush for a few times now. Um, probably have a full review. Probably you know after a year of how many times I had to sharpen it and that. Um, but so far this knife has just been really the cat's meow. I love it. Um, so then you take a toggle like this and we're actually, like I said, we'll create an overhand loop and you go back towards the source, being the tree, and you slip your toggle down in there and then you just cinch down. The important thing about when you put the whoopee sling on it is don't put it on the toggle put it on the knot like this because then when you, it's all said and done you literally just pull the toggle out and you don't have a knot anymore so um, and for, for whatever reason that name of this is drawing a blank but I'm just going to do each side here temporarily um, I don't know how much I need I have a whole lot of whoopee sling Bruce kind of pre um, measured it and set the ridge line for the hammock net and how much sag based on my height and uh, I mean you can't ask for a better setup um, really um, made a nice little bag for it it all fits in there the um, you saw the unboxing of the um, of it itself I have not done anything which which is head and which is tails or any of that but what we'll do is um, I know the bottom here so we're just gonna hang it and then we'll adjust the whoopee things 
So you come along the back and you actually come here above the knot and you give it a yank. So you're actually pulling on the knot and not the toggle. The toggle is just simply there to support the knot itself and not bind down so hard that you can't uh, get the knot out at a later time. So obviously I'm going to have a whole lot of whoopee sling to cinch up. Nice thing about the whoopee slings is you just loosen the braid, you pull the one loop through and you now have a tight loop rather than a hard loop. And I can sense these up or down accordingly and again here on the back side of the knot I'm going to do the same thing here with this whoopee sling. Put this up in the air and get the ridge line taut. You want that up high. So I'm actually going to take that down. And pull my press, not press it, but pull my stick out of there. I'm going to do it up higher. I want to hang up high off the ground. So simple enough, you just loosen, hang up higher, and do the same thing. There's plenty of tree strap there for um, every diameter tree you can possibly imagine. And again, on the knot itself, and then you pull this down, and that will lock that hammock in the place. This one I think I can just probably loosen the tree saver and actually just go up with it. Because I think I got enough there. Again, pull that down to lock that into place. And essentially that is hung. Let's see uh, how much snag I'm going to get if it's uh, the maiden voyage. It is in uh, camouflage and multicam, and with this type of bug net, you just essentially get in it, open it up, a little bit of bounce, make sure it's good, and I'm up off the ground, but I got stuff in my pockets and stuff I don't want to rip. The bag now, but that's the, but I might go a little higher because I'm pretty close to the ground yet. Um, the the um, belly feels pretty good because I'm going to lay. You don't you know you don't lay in the banana. You lay across uh, 15 degrees. Um, so that's actually going to probably be pretty good. But I think I do need to go a little higher because it's going to sag. <laughs> if I can get back up. And uh, when you're actually down in it, this uh, bug net will wrap around uh, the bottom and, and cinch tight. I like to be up a little bit higher. So. Um, a little easier when the trees are a little further apart. But I do want this ridge light taut, so I'm going to go up a little bit higher, but I'm also going to move my toggle and uh, get that a little closer to the tree. And uh, should I have any? I can get that, that riddle, ridge line taut. There we go. And same thing, just lock that down. Put your whoopee over it. Lock it into the behind the knot. There we go. I think that's going to be a lot better. And uh, 
before it's all said and done, I will roll up these things. Up there. And test number two. Definitely want to thank Bruce for this. This is a an awesome, awesome, uh, just a, oh yeah, that's a lot better. Oh, I like that. Oh, I might not get back up, guys. Um, but you can see as this, when this comes down, it will actually just sense around the bottom. I can adjust internally here. I have another whoopee sling. That's the ridge line. Um, this is the, the pull through here. Right now it's taut, so it keeps the, the bug net up off of you. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, see, that's nice and taut now. And, uh. This is going to be my sleeping quarters for the night. No uh, rain expected all weekend. I may put up a... Uh, I may not. You know what? I, I thought maybe I would put up a, a fly, a tarp, you know, something. But I just may not. I'm actually uh, liking this. Now this is the Noceum brand um, netting. You're not going to have any um, bugs at all. Um, High quality noceum and uh, oh, I'm losing my smug. Um, I am very, very pleased with this. This is um, Bruce, thank you. Um, I know, I think I am going to have to grab a piece of paracord and wrap that tight so it doesn't slide down. It's got a little bit more open on this end so you can actually slide the whole bug net through. Uh, through the hammock through the bug net so you don't have to have the bug net the other end is sewn tight already so it would only go on one way basically is what it does so this one's already tight against there so I'll get a piece of paracord here in a little bit and actually tie on this end so it doesn't actually slide there is quite a bit of bugs we're we're being uh, chased away <laughs> we have some bug spray on but um, this is going to be Awesome. I'll give you an a updated report uh, in the morning, how I feel. And uh, once again, custom-made um, hammock by Bruce at Northwest Nature Calls. If you don't know Bruce, check him out. He makes some amazing videos. Now he's doing uh, quadcopters, and uh, that's kind of exciting. Uh, but he hikes the Pacific Northwest. Amazing, amazing views and excellent, excellent um cinematography I guess you would say. I um, want to thank Bearded Rat behind the camera and uh, there is Mrs. Bearded Rat out there and Jeep Girl she'll be out and uh, there'll be more videos because uh, Ill Billy um, is also coming out and we're gonna have a little uh, get together here and Ill Billy I imagine he'll probably have some videos he'll put up too Definitely want to thank him for coming out. He'll be out here probably in the next hour or so. And until the next time. Hey everybody, uh, Jeep here. Ill Billy. Ill Billy. Um, we're actually out on the 4th July weekend. We've been out for a little bit. We actually got a fire started. We're gonna uh, continue to do some campfire work here and get the uh, wood cut. And you're gonna use a, your maiden voyage on your new Baco. Yep, yep. And uh, Using a small boy's axe here, and we've been cutting up. And but uh, we're just wanted to say hi to everybody. And uh, the bearded rat is here too. And uh, happy Fourth of July yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, um, we'll have little bits and clips throughout this video of things that we're doing in camp. And but uh, we just want to do an intro and wish everybody happy Independence Day. And we hope that you uh, had a safe one because this will be published after and that uh, you had a great time with your family and friends. And that's what uh, we're doing here today is family and friends. Yep, yep. Okay, thanks. S stick around. <clears throat> yeah, so I don't know if that, you know, the silky was worth it or not, or if that baco was, I mean, we're cutting through that. That was pretty slick. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I know <coughs> that blade is actually, if I remember right, that's a green wood blade. That's not a dead wood blade. Okay. Um, if I remember right. So you can get other blades like you can the silk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the one it default comes with, I'm pretty sure, is the green wood blade. And it cut through that dry. <laughs> That's yeah. not bad. So. Uh, a little bearded rat. Hey. So where did that name come from? Uh, Is that just an affectionate name for your brother? Or? No, it's uh, when I was growing up, uh, I it came out with JFL and one of the coaches because they had name tapes or they actually had just a piece of duct tape all over the helmet. So they know who the players were, and ended up uh, turned around and seen that uh, I was uh, my last name was really long, so they just went off the first three letters of my last name, which is R A T. Uh -huh. So my nickname was Rat. So now he's got this big manly thing growing here, so he's the bearded rat. <laughs> Okay, so to give you a quick uh, view, we have Jeep Girl's tent because you know um, she's a girl, <laughs> and of course the fire. And I was actually in, laying just out on on it earlier, but um, what we're doing here is here's my uh, hammock, uh, Northwest Nature Calls, and then this is the. Oh, sorry about that. The uh, equip travel hammock that my brother is actually going to stay in, the bearded rat. And we're just on the back side of a little bit of woods. And we have it all set up. And Eel Billy is over here setting up his uh, 3x3 uh, Nova tarp into a Modified, what would you call it, what you're setting it up? Modified A-frame? Yeah, it's closed on all sides but one in the end, so. So, that's going to be our accommodations for the night. Um, sun's gone down now, and uh, starting, to starting to cool off a little bit. Actually feels pretty good. We do have a little bit of a fire going. But I just wanted to show you our accommodations for the night and where we're staying. Hey everybody, uh, Jeep here. It's uh, morning, uh, day or night after night one. Um, just a quick uh, thought on the hammock. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely see why uh, it's gained popularity. Um, it did sag down a little bit. Um, pull down a little bit and uh, re-stretch it a little bit tonight before I get in it. Um, really nice. I, uh, I ended up putting in my just my pad and I laid it in the same angle that I want to lay, you know, across diagonally, you know, about 10, 15 degrees or so. And so my feet were out this way, my head was over this way. And when you do that, it's kind of like you get high sides on the opposite which is it's all fine and then I just use my uh, my fleece throw uh, bag for my pillow and then all I had was this and I didn't put this on until about uh, 3 this morning and I started getting down to about 60 um, it was real nice real nice definitely see what the the hype is about it and the bug net awesome addition um, really easy to do, easy to get out. You can even see there's stuff on it now. And uh, look over here. Oh, look! It's the bearded rat. <laughs> he uh, slept in the uh, equip Walmart hammock. Walmart hammock. Um, same deal. I mean, he's 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 like excited and happy about it too. That uh, just. He didn't have a bug net, but that was no problem. No. 
It, yeah, it wasn't. They weren't bad last night. They weren't bad at all last night. Um, and even now that I'm standing here, it's not even an issue. So um, I could have done, I could probably done without it, but it was nice. Um, like I said, I'll restretch it tonight. It should hold real good. But I, I just get in and underneath and drop my shoes right below and sprawl out, and it was all good. I even got up in the middle of the night and went to the bathroom and up and come back and just right back down, and like it was second nature, I knew exactly what to do. I didn't even have to think, well, how do I lay in it? It just You just do it because I think that's comfortable. And the pad, I think, uh, kept any cold air from underneath because I was warm. I was absolutely warm, and uh, then I just had that blanket for a top quilt, and I didn't even know it was cold out. So uh, that's the update on the uh, hammock and the um, Northwest Nature Calls build there. And uh, thanks so much, Bruce. I really appreciate it.